Millionaires basically have too much money, so they need their own super expensive overpriced stuff to spend it on. That's where the supercar comes in, or even the hypercar. These are the most overblown automobiles on the market, and they're not for the likes of you and I. Join us as we have a look at 20 rare cars available only to millionaires. Number 20. The Ferrari 250 GTO When the Ferrari 250 GTO would first be produced back between 1962 and 1964, it was such a fancy and exclusive vehicle that the only people who were allowed to purchase one had to get the personal approval of Enzo Ferrari himself. It's crazy, but it's true. There's no doubt, however, that this is a legendary masterpiece that has achieved an iconic status in the world of automotive enthusiasts. Produced by the Italian manufacturer Ferrari all the way back in the early 1960s, the 250 GTO is often regarded as one of the most beautiful and desirable sports cars ever created. But what makes the 250 so special is not only its striking design, but also its exceptional performance. Under the hood, it boasts a V12 engine that delivers a feisty blending of power and precision. With around 300 horsepower, it was a formidable competitor in motorsports and secured a whole host of other victories in all of the most prestigious races like the 24 Hours of Le Mans and the Tour de France automobile. Only 36 units of this vehicle were ever produced, and this has not only made it an especially desirable model, but also added to that hefty price tag over the years. If you have extremely deep pockets and a certain degree of luck, one of these extra rare beauties can be yours from around the measly sum of $70 million. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the fancy topic. Here we have a picture that's been produced by some AI nonsense robot, and to be honest, it looks like it would be better off in a dopey video game than anywhere else on the road. But what do I know? Elon Musk probably loves it, and is developing it to stuff full of equipment that will spontaneously catch on fire. Anyways, what do you think? As always, you can comment down below using the hashtag fancy topic and let me know your opinion in relation to what I just showed you on the screen. Number 19. The 1955 Mercedes-Benz 300 SL Alloy Gullwing Considered to be one of the most rare cars in the world, the Mercedes-Benz 300 SL Gullwing is a design icon that is still incredibly popular despite the difficulties to be had in getting a hold of one. This classic car is often used in TV and film productions on the account of its status as an iconic classic, but also because it just looks kind of cool as well. But that also means that when these cars pop up at auction, and that is pretty rare to be honest, they can summon up some insane asking prices when all of the collectors begin to take an interest. A total of 1,400 coupes and close to 2,000 roadsters were manufactured during that golden age, a time when motoring was still a pleasure and it was possible to drive your road legal race car without simply sitting around and sweating in traffic all the live long day. These days, the legend of the vehicle also means they have a standard seven-figure price tag, and if it happens to be an even more rare aluminum alloy version, well, the sky's the limit. If you can believe it, back in 2012, one of these things sold for $4.62 million. Number 18. The Ferrari F40 LM The choice of racing drivers and insane sadistic sons of tyrants alike, the Ferrari F40 has a broad appeal, that is for certain. Yes, this is the same car that Nigel Mansell liked to use to pop around town, and Uday Hussein was often seen in, when he wasn't busy torturing, raping, murdering, and committing war crimes. Mansell, of course, was just a boring old Formula One race car driver. When these cars were first on the market, they cost a whopping great wad of cash, $400,000 to be exact, 
which is around $860,000 in today's money. Although they made 1,311 of these, only 19 were the special edition F40 LM, and that makes that incarnation especially rare and therefore especially desirable, if you like that sort of thing. Oh, and if you do happen to have a budget of around about, oh, I don't know, $3.3 million to blow on your next old car, you may want to invest in one of these. I just wonder what kind of mileage that old thing has on the clock. Number 17. The Alfa Romeo 33 Stradale. Built between 1967 and 1969, the extremely rare Alfa Romeo 33 Stradale was a street-legal version of their racing car, the Auto Delta Alfa Romeo Tipo 33 Sports Prototype. Stradale means road-going in Italian. I probably pronounced it incorrectly now that I know that. Stradale? Yeah, probably. Only 18 of these cars were ever built, making it one of the most rare and expensive cars of all time. The 2.0-liter V8 engine featured Spica fuel injection and was specifically designed and built just for this car. The Stradale had an impressive 0-60 to 60 in 5.5 seconds and a top speed of 160 miles per hour, which is pretty impressive considering that it was 1967 after all. The original price of the 33 Stradale was about $6,150, but if you bought one back then and held on to it, you'd have made a surprisingly wise investment. Due to the rare status of these cars, they're now valued at $3 million or more. But the fact that they so rarely turn up at auction also means that a good specimen could actually sell for a whole lot more than that. Number 16. The Ferrari J50 The exquisitely rare limited edition Ferrari J50 supercar was produced in homage to Ferrari's 50-year anniversary in the Japanese market. Japan loves a good fancy fast car, and nothing says collector and enthusiast better than a Ferrari does. The J50 was produced back in 2016 by Ferrari's Special Projects Division, which is basically the branch of the company that's dedicated to crafting bespoke and exclusive vehicles for discerning clientele. Which is, as we are all aware, code for the richest and most endowed in the wallet department. While it was being built on the platform of the 488 Spider, the J50 still has its own distinct design that sets it apart from its predecessor. Its Targa-style roof, which can be removed and stowed away, allows for the car's open-top driving experience while still preserving structural rigidity. The design is a fancy schmancy blending of futuristic aesthetics and traditional Ferrari elements, which includes a wraparound windshield, prominent twin humps behind the seats, and a sharp angular front end. The production run of this vehicle was limited to only 10 units, which definitely adds to that exclusive vibe and the massive price tag that these vehicles command, which can come in at a minimum of $3.6 million and rising. So you better start putting the pennies in that old piggy bank. Number 15. The Apollo Intenza Emozione The Apollo Intenza Emozione, or the Apollo IE, as is more better to pronounce, is a limited production hypercar that, in all its fluffy and bombast grandiose claims to be, about all that stuff like raw power and cutting-edge engineering and above all that car junk, it's alleged to be a relentless pursuit of emotion-inducing performance. Those are a whole lot of promises. Manufactured by German manufacturing company Apollo Automobile, this hypercar made its debut in 2017 and would quickly gain attention as one of the most extreme and exclusive automobiles ever created. At the heart of the Apollo IE lies a naturally aspirated 6.3-liter V12 engine generating 780 horsepower, which ensures acceleration that can push the car from 0 to 60 in just about 2.7 seconds. This power is channeled through a six-speed sequential gearbox for what the manufacturer promises to be a visceral driving experience. Aerodynamics and lightweight construction are massively important in the Apollo IE. Its bodywork is a collection of sharp angles, deep vents, and aggressive lines that's optimized for maximum downforce and cooling efficiency. The heavy-handed use of carbon fiber and other lightweight materials keeps the car's weight in check 
all with the goal of enhancing its performance capability. Limited to a production run of just 10 units, the Apollo IE is a rare sight on the road, and its exclusivity makes it highly coveted amongst collectors and automotive enthusiasts alike. Those who are especially keen to own one of these will part with no fewer than $2.6 million for the privilege. Number 14. W Motors Lycan Hypersport Some supercars are built for performance, while others are just built to be very shiny. Very, very shiny indeed. The Lycan Hypersport is one such vehicle, and boy is it shiny! It's one of the most expensive cars in the world, on the account of its rather liberally applied precious metals in its decoration. Obviously, a car would not be any good at all if it did not have an interior that was swathed in platinum, gold, and silver, and of course diamonds. Lots and lots of diamonds. In fact, the diamonds didn't just hide themselves away inside the car. They were pebble-dashed all across the whole exterior as well, finding their way into the LED optics and generally adorning the car with even more jewels than Elizabeth Taylor on a particularly jewel-encrusted day. As well as the ludicrously expensive frilly bits on the car, the manufacturers have used the classic scarcity trick to make it one of the most pricey purchases there can be. There were only seven of these hypercars ever produced, such an effectively simple way to guarantee the interest of the eternally bored and ego-driven individuals with pockets deep enough to entertain such a thing. Oh, and this thing is positively loaded with beverage holders. What more could you really desire in a vehicle? Number 13. Bugatti Type 41 La Royale the Bugatti Type 41 is often known as the Bugatti Royale or Type 41 La Royale, and it's one of the most iconic and exclusive luxury vehicles in all of automotive history. Produced by French manufacturer Bugatti in the late 1920s and 30s, it was intended for the world's wealthiest individuals and royalty. Only six of these super swanky automobiles were ever built, making them exceedingly rare and highly sought after by the very richest of collectors. The Bugatti Royale is most celebrated for its grandeur and opulence, featuring a 12.7-liter straight-8 engine, which was considered an engineering marvel when first manufactured, producing 300 horsepower. The car's long hood, massive radiator grill, and most emphatic presence reflect the elegance and extravagance of the era. One of the most fascinating aspects of the Royale is its exclusive clientele. The intended buyers, including European royals and aristocrats, but the Great Depression in the 1930s led to a limited number of sales. Today, these vehicles are considered automotive treasures, with each one holding a unique history and provenance. They rarely exchange hands, but if they do, the price can get into the tens of millions. Number 12. The Shelby Daytona Cobra the Shelby Daytona Cobra is a legendary American sports car that holds a significant place in automotive history. Developed by Carroll Shelby and his team in the early 1960s, it was specifically designed for one purpose, to dominate the international racing scene. You know, America! The Daytona Cobra is a sleek and aerodynamically efficient racing car that was derived from the iconic Shelby Cobra Roadster. Its design was aimed at achieving a higher top speed on the racetrack and it featured a distinctive, elongated coupe body with a rounded front and a prominent rear spoiler. The design breakthrough contributed to the car's success on the track, like the legendary 24 Hours of Le Mans, and inside, the Daytona Cobra was powered by a potent 4.7-liter V8 engine that could produce over 380 horsepower. This lightweight and powerful combination allowed the vehicle to achieve very high speeds and handle corners with precision. One of the most notable achievements of the Daytona Cobra came in 1965 when it secured the FIA World Sports Car Championship, becoming the first American car to do so. It competed fiercely against the Ferrari and other European giants, solidifying its place in racing history, and the estimated value of one of these rare automobiles is an eye-watering seven and a quarter million dollars. Number 11. The McLaren F1 LM The McLaren F1 LM is a version of the McLaren F1 GTR that was built on the F1 chassis. 
but with included modifications to make it road legal. By the way, that LM stands for Le Mans, in honor of the winning titles taken by five of McLaren's F1 GTRs at the 24 Hours of Le Mans in 1995. The general idea behind this supercar was that it would work in normal road use as well as have the capacity for high performance. The LM can be easily recognized by its very bright papaya orange paint job, And these cars have some substantial racing credentials. Using the same engine as the F1 GTR, but without any restrictors, the bodywork is designed to give the car more grip, and this version of the F1 is considered to be the very fastest of the McLaren F1 road cars, with a 0 to 60 achieved in 3.9 seconds and a 0 to 100 in 6.7 seconds. As far as the price tag, this is one of the most expensive and rare cars of all time, mostly being purchased by such deep-pocketed people as the Sultan of Brunei. And apparently just one of them was not sufficient for him, so he ended up purchasing three of the things, as one does. Number 10. The Aston Martin DBR1 The Aston Martin DBR1 is an iconic sports car that holds a hallowed place in the history of motorsport and automotive excellence. When it was introduced in the late 1950s, it was specifically designed for endurance racing and marked a pivotal moment for the British manufacturer Aston Martin. Under the guidance of engineer Ted Cutting, the DBR1 would be designed with a lightweight tubular space frame chassis wrapped in a sculpted aluminum body. It was driven with a 2.5-liter straight-six engine in its earlier iterations and would later be upgraded to a 3-liter version which produced around 250 horsepower. This potent combination would make it a highly competitive vehicle on the track and it achieved its greatest triumph in 1959 when it secured a victory at the 24 Hours of Le Mans, driven by the team of Roy Salvadori and Carroll Shelby. This victory marked Aston Martin as the first British manufacturer to win the prestigious race, cementing the DBR1's legacy in motorsports history. These cars are so historic and rare that if you happen to like that sort of thing, they can be commanded at an insane price of upwards of $22.55 million. Yes, this one is really only available to the crazy rich individual. Number 9. The Lamborghini Veneno Nine Lamborghini Veneno Roadsters were produced back in the mid-2010s, each one costing a cool $4.5 million. The insane price tag made the Veneno Roadster one of the most expensive production cars in the whole world at the time, and unlike some other supercars, these ones don't seem to be suffering from the same depreciation issues as others. There was an example on the market again for auction at Sotheby's, and it was given an estimated value between five and six million dollars. This car is the Lamborghini version of the racing prototype that would be built for the road, and it's especially been designed to improve airflow and downforce, giving the car more stability and all-around drivability. Number 8. Pagani Zonda HP Barchetta The Pagani Zonda HP Barchetta is a very expensive and highly exclusive hypercar that demonstrates Pagani's efforts to push the boundaries of automotive design and performance. When it would be unveiled back in 2018, this limited production masterpiece was a celebration of Horatio Pagani's 60th birthday. Because when you're a super wealthy car guy, that's how you do stuff. The Zonda HP Barchetta, and it features a 7.3-liter V12 engine, sourced from AMG, producing 789 horsepower. It lacks a traditional windshield and instead has a pair of small wind deflectors and a prominent roll bar giving it a distinct roadster appearance. The car's bodywork is predominantly carbon fiber with intricate detailing and apparent aerodynamic efficiency. Despite all of the hype, there are only three of these in the entire world, so that's barely a production run at all. Could this even be called a car in that sense, or is it a vanity project? It's controversial, I know, but let's get into a discussion about it in the comments down below, shall we? Number 7. 1969 Chevrolet Corvette ZL1 the 1969 Chevrolet Corvette ZL1 is an iconic American muscle car. 
This limited production Corvette would be designed to blend Chevrolet's engineering prowess with the legendary ZL1 aluminum engine to create a potent street and track machine. At the heart of the ZL1 Corvette is its 427 cubic inch V8 engine, which was built from aluminum. The engine was incredibly lightweight and featured 430 horsepower, although some estimates would suggest it could have been even more powerful than that. The engine was paired with a Muncie M22 Rock Crusher 4-speed manual transmission, which allowed drivers to harness the engine's full potential. It had a 0-60 to 60 time of around 4 seconds, and it could cover the quarter mile in a low 12-second range, making it one of the quickest production cars of its time. But what really boosts the iconic status of this vehicle is its rarity. Only two of these Corvettes were ever produced for public sale due to the high cost of the engine option, and now they're worth at least $3.14 million. Number 6. The Shelby Cobra Super Snake The Shelby Cobra Super Snake is basically a supercharged version of the Cobra. It is an iconic American sports car and the vision of Carroll Shelby, who sought to create the ultimate Cobra by combining the lightweight AC Cobra body with an immensely powerful engine. In 1965, the Super Snake would be introduced with a 427 V8 engine that was initially designed for NASCAR. The engine would be equipped with two superchargers, producing a hefty 800 horsepower, making it one of the most powerful production cars of the time. Its big fat power, combined with the Cobra's lightweight construction, allowed the Super Snake to reach some pretty impressive speed. Shelby himself took the Super Snake to the Goodyear Tire Testing Facility in Texas, achieving a top speed of 170 miles per hour, which was a remarkable feat for the 1960s. Super Snake in existence. Two were built, the other is just this demonstration solidified the Super Snake's reputation as an unrivaled performance machine. Only two of them were ever produced, and they remain amongst the most desirable and valuable American collector cars in existence. Their value is estimated at $5.5 million, but their rarity also means that this number could actually wind up in the double figures quite easily should one ever appear for sale. Number 5. Koenigsegg CCXR Trevita only two of these vehicles were ever produced, so that makes it pretty special, but not quite unique. The Koenigsegg brand is known and respected worldwide for their immaculate bodywork, which is apparently peerless. The Trevita uses a unique coated carbon fiber that transforms the traditional car manufacturing fibers from black to a shiny silver white, meaning that when the sun hits the Trevita, it has a diamond sparkle that cannot be found anywhere else in the car owning world. Apparently, that's one of the reasons that this car costs a ludicrously expensive $5 million, or at least it did when it was brand new. One of these two cars was owned by the boxer Floyd Mayweather for a while. And when he sold it, he made two and a half million dollars. That's a considerable depreciation. This kind of fancy car purchase is definitely not an investment. These things will lose money value overnight, more than the average person can earn in a lifetime of graft. The Trevita is shiny, that much is known, but what else can it do? Well, it features all of the fun stuff you would hope for in a high-performance vehicle. It has a special carbon rear wing, an Inconel exhaust system, carbon ceramic brakes with ABS, airbags, tire monitoring system, hydraulic lifting system, and a so-called infotainment system. So many systems in one little vehicle, so it must be good. Number 4. The Mercedes-Benz 300 SLR Coupe the Mercedes-Benz 300 SLR Coupe was developed in the 1950s as a limited production racing car by Mercedes-Benz. Named after its creator, who was the head of Mercedes-Benz Racing at the time, the 300 SLR Coupe was based on the Mercedes 300 SLR race car, which had achieved considerable success in motorsport. He recognized the need, or perhaps the possibility, I mean, nobody needs one of these, do they, for a road-legal version of the race car, and so that's when the Coupe was born. This car featured a shiny, smooth aerodynamic body, a powerful inline-six engine capable of producing over 300 horsepower, and cutting-edge technology for the time, like direct fuel injection, and it was also known for its incredible performance, capable of reaching top speeds that exceeded 180 miles an hour. Naturally, the need for this kind of car was limited, only two were ever built, and so they're super rare and massively overpriced as a result. The figure that's thrown around for this car is basically laughable at $142.9 million. <laughs> right then, that seems perfectly reasonable. 
Number 3. The Ferrari 365P Berlinetta Special Tre Posti. This car is often referred to simply as the Tre Posti and is a most distinctive one-off supercar created by the Italian automaker Ferrari. The name of the vehicle translates the three seats in Italian and the moniker is a massive clue to one of its most distinguishing and yet peculiar features. It has a central driving position with two passenger seats positioned slightly behind and on either side of the driver. The layout was inspired by Formula One because rich people love pretending to be race car drivers instead of boring bankers. The car features a rumbly V12 engine and its aerodynamic design was created with sweeping curves and low slung profile. The rarity of the car is bordering on the ridiculous with only one ever being built, and can that even be called anything more than a concept car at that point? I ask you. This single car is estimated to be worth a very silly $22.5 million. Number 2. The Ferrari Testarossa Spider The Ferrari Testarossa Spider is essentially a convertible version of the iconic Ferrari Testarossa, which was produced in the late 80s to early 90s. The Spider was not a factory production model, but rather a conversion by specialized coach builders or aftermarket companies. Owners of standard Testarossas who desired the thrill of open-air driving could have their cars transformed into spiders. This conversion process was highly labor-intensive, usually involving reinforcing of the chassis to compensate for the removal of the roof. Otherwise, the thing was just a fender bender away from totally crumpling. This was the 1980s, though, and driving around in your Ferrari was all about showing off how impossibly rich and fancy you were. I mean, what was the real point if nobody could see that it was you driving it? Performance-wise, the Testarossa Spider was naturally on par with the coupe version featuring a 4.9-liter, 12-cylinder engine that produced about 380 to 390 horsepower. Due to its limited production, the Ferrari Testarossa Spider commands a premium price amongst enthusiasts and collectors, but in the scheme of cars that we're looking at today, what is a mere $1.3 million anyway? Number 1. The Bugatti Type 57 SC Atlantic Now we arrive at the Bugatti Type 57 SC Atlantic, a legendary and highly coveted classic car that was produced by the French manufacturer Bugatti in the late 1930s. The Atlantic was the creation of Jean Bugatti, son of the company's founder, and its design is characterized by the dramatic aerodynamic shape with riveted aluminum body panels, a spine running down the center of the car, and a dorsal seam earning it the nickname La Vautour Noire, or the Black Cat. It's been missing since the 1930s and has not been seen since it left the Bugatti factory in France, along with only three others of its kind just before the outbreak of the Second World War in Europe. So how does a car just take off and make itself all anonymous like that? Well, the rumblings of war across Europe prompted Bugatti to close up the French factory, which had produced these cars for fear that the Germans would invade. The Type 57 SC was never fully registered or officially sold, so records of the car's whereabouts are more or less unknown. It doesn't exist on any paperwork after 1938, and plenty of people believe that this car is still out there somewhere, and it's estimated to be worth a staggering $114 million, a mystery that's just too tantalizing to resist. So how is your piggy bank looking? Which of these cars will you be saving up for? Let me know all your thoughts in the comments section down below. Be sure to check out the other cool stuff that's showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.